Understanding your birth chart is understanding the inherent patterns and tendencies which will keep repeating themselves over and over throughout your entire lifetime. It is a form of self-knowledge. It reveals a recognizable structure and a holistic meaning to your life experience. Almost everyone by now knows their sun sign, thanks to magazine columns and such. But the problem is, people confuse the qualities of that sign with their personality traits and individuality, which is completely inaccurate. This is why a lot of people don't resonate with their sun sign and end up rejecting the whole of astrology as a result. The sun sign reveals your life purpose and vision, what your life revolves around, and ultimately, how you can find self-fulfillment. It is a spiritual power and intelligence available to the native, not the native itself. The personality traits and individuality is actually described by the rising sign instead. In this video, I'm gonna showcase the difference between the rising sign and the sun sign in Emma Watson's birth chart through actual examples from what we know of her life. Because the ascendant is Virgo, Emma Watson's character and personality traits are essentially Virgo. Emma is known to be a very modest and humble girl. Quote, Ignoring fame was my rebellion, in a funny way. I was insistent on being normal and doing normal things. Both in her interviews and in public, she seems shy, down to earth, and doesn't really like wearing super revealing clothes. Quote, I find the whole concept of being sexy embarrassing and confusing. I know everyone wants a picture of me in a mini skirt, but that's not me. What makes Emma especially admirable is her deeply thoughtful and analytical qualities, especially of the world around her. She constantly reviews her actions as well as others in order to help improve and optimize both herself and the world. I started questioning gender-based assumptions a long time ago. When I was eight, I was confused being called bossy because I wanted to direct the plays that we would put on for our parents. But the boys were not. When at 14, I started to be sexualized by certain elements of the media. When at 15, my girlfriends started dropping out of their beloved sports teams because they didn't want to appear muscly. When at 18, my male friends were unable to express their feelings. I decided that I was a feminist. Here's another cute to Virgo trait. I'm a perfectionist, so my bossiness definitely comes out. Emma Watson's sun sign is Aries in the 8th house. This means her life's purpose and self-fulfillment is focused around other people's resources and values. An obvious manifestation of this is her appointed role as the UN Women Goodwill Ambassador, where she acts as a leader and role model, son, in standing up for all women's rights, 8th house. Another example is her modeling job and fashion advertising for Burberry and Lancôme, where she literally displays Sun, their clothes, 8th house. Aries Sun is very assertive and independent power. It is source energy, boldly initiating things through the native. Emma helped launch the He for She campaign with her famous bold speech. She started several feminist book clubs. She helped launch a legal helpline for the sexually harassed. She is a founding member of Time's Up, an organization that supports victims of sexual harassment. And she invested millions on a startup which develops sustainable alternatives to petrochemical products. 
This is pretty much how the sun, the life force, expresses itself through Emma. Now, to understand what Emma is trying to accomplish or effectuate through her focus, Sun, on these 8th house topics, is to look at the placement of the ruler of Aries, which is Mars, placed in Aquarius in the 6th, and that basically explains her forceful activism. To put it in one sentence, fighting Mars in service to others, 6th house, through idealistic and humanitarian intentions, Aquarius. This shows how the assertive nature of her life vision, Sun in Aries, which plays out in other people's organizations, 8th house, is actually realized and accomplished and seen as this vigorous humanitarian service which Emma is always involved in, like in the examples I gave earlier, namely, gender equality, victim support, environmental justice, climate change mitigation, and even ethical dressing, which she champions on red carpets. I offer astrology reading sessions, link in the description below. If you enjoyed this content and would like to see more, please share it. Thanks for watching.